We will use a kitchen mixer to demonstrate how to get the best high-speed video. After you have set up your 2020 cam system to begin capture, you will want to adjust the cameras and lighting to capture the highest quality image. This involves adjusting the camera shutter and frame rate, then adding or removing a necessary amount of light to capture the target object. Depending on how quickly the target is moving, you will want to increase the camera frame rate and shutter rate accordingly. This is achieved using the camera controls in the 2020 cam viewer software. For multiple cameras, the shutter and frame rates must be adjusted individually on each camera. For example, a high-speed production line may require 1000 frames per second or higher as well as high shutter rate to capture a crisp image. As the frame rate and shutter rate increases, additional lighting beyond ambient light is required to capture objects at extremely high frame rates. The levels of frame rate, shutter rate and lighting will change depending on the camera type and the amount of ambient light available. Color cameras will require more light than monochrome cameras, though monochrome is capable of capturing at higher frame rates. Taking the time to adjust these settings accordingly will result in a much higher image quality and high-speed footage that can reveal tremendous detail about your target object. The 2020 Cam Viewer software provides easy-to-use playback controls for watching and reviewing your high-speed video. When you're viewing a live camera, the slider control at the bottom of the screen allows for variable speed of playback, frame-by-frame -frame playback and real-time playback of your high-speed footage. To begin reviewing video in the live buffer, simply click on the cursor and drag it back in the buffer using the mouse. You can also use the step buttons to review footage frame by frame or watch the footage as it can be seen to the naked eye in real time. The AccuScan control provides hands-free playback. Simply drag the AccuScan lock to the desired playback rate and video will continue playing until you click somewhere on the screen. To view the clip, click the Clips tab, which provides a list of all available clips residing on the engine. Double-click the clip to open and play it back using the slider playback controls. The playback controls function the same whether you are reviewing video in the live buffer or viewing a previously recorded clip. Making a clip from your 2020 cam video buffer is as simple as a few clicks of the mouse or simply pressing the button on the PLC trigger. From within the 2020 Cam Viewer software, you will find the Make a Clip button located on the slider playback control. Clicking this button brings up a dialog which allows you to simply create a clip with a default length or optionally to override the defaults and choose a start and end time by moving the cursor and setting the clip parameters. Once you click the OK button, you'll see a marker created on the left side indicating an event was recorded. A yellow marker indicates the event came from within the 2020 CAM software, while a blue marker indicates the event came from the PLC trigger.
once you recorded video footage and generate some clips, you might want to export those clips for sharing or backup purposes. To export, clips must be downloaded to the local computer first. If you have clips on an engine you would like to export, you must first select them on the engine and then click the download button so they are copied to your local computer. Once the clips are downloading, simply select them using the mouse and the control or shift keys to select multiple clips. Once selected, click the export clips button which will launch the export wizard. Exports are limited to 4 GB maximum per pack and go file. To complete the export, you will need to provide a USB memory stick plugged into the computer and give the pack and go file a name. Once the export completes, the clips will be saved as an .exe file which can be shared to another user. When the pack and go file is launched by another user, the 2020 cam clip viewer will be installed to view the clips in their native format with frame-by-frame -frame playback controls.